Yo, what's good? Welcome to another episode of Beast TV. Uh, just for Stu TV, I just interview like different people from different beast hoods. This is a dedicated series on my channel dedicated to a kid called Beast Community, where we just get inside perspectives of what actually is going on and just highlight it. Different members is actually doing great things in Web3. But anyway, just continue with the series. I have a special guest with me today. I'm allowed him to introduce himself to the audience. What's good, man? My name is Jules, uh, founder of B-Sex Fitness, also leader of the Active and Wellness and uh, AKA Champions Court of Eastwood for AKCB. It's an honor to be here, but Oh yeah, man. It's an honor to have you, man. I know it's just, that's probably just the beauty, man, just within this series is just like the people that you meet in this community first and foremost, because like... There's a lot of people that's building. Like Kid Call Beast has the most builders in their project, just across ch in chains or whatever. And like just the way the community is set up, man. But yeah, just continuing this, man. I just wanted to just ask, just further, just let's get deeper into that. Who exactly is Juice Fit? And like what's been your experience in Kid Call Beast? Uh, I'm going to give you guys a little bit and a little, a little something about me, IRL. Um, I'm a personal trainer and also a social worker. Uh, but I would say my my biggest, what would describe me, you know, with Web 2 and Web 3 is um, AKCB has given me opportunity that I feel like other projects didn't give me. Meaning uh, I have full IP, meaning, you know, now like since I'm a personal trainer and also like I'm into like big fitness groups, and I have big connections in the IRL, I wanted to like bring that with Web3. And ever since the beginning, like I wouldn't even say mint with AKCB, but I would say like, you know, when the hype was happening way before the mint and stuff like that, like I was like, okay, this is a dope project, like cool art, you know what I'm saying? Like what they saying they bring it. I'm like, okay, like, you know, we don't, as, as us being in Web3, we like, man, when people tell us something, you know, we got to see it to believe it, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just like, uh, what they doing? I'm like, this could be something like, because I know I've been trying to find my way in Web3 for a minute. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like, what, what can I do with fitness? Because you're not going to find everybody that want to work out. You're not going to find everybody that want to hear about eating healthy, getting healthy, sleeping, all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, we have people here who go on and run off like three, four hours of sleep. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, there's a lot of people who just won't listen to that. But I wanted to make I wanted to plan something where it's like I can bring not just uh, one big community together, but like other multiple communities, you know what I'm saying? Like community over there, community over there, come together. Whoever do fitness over there, they can come together, bring their group, same thing over there. And, you know, we just come together and migrate. Um, by doing that, I feel like we can spread positivity, we can spread a lot of information. Um, also, we're in a world where it's like, dude, um, like people post misinformation a lot, you know what I'm saying? Like you have influencers who post, they don't put, biggest thing I don't like about influencers, they don't post like detailed stuff. When I mean detailed stuff, like they'll tell you, oh, do this, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, there's different body types that people are different, just like our fingerprints. And just cause this person does like 20 pushups, you know, and the next person will, it doesn't mean he'll feel the same pump or, you know, the same, the same, like, worth ethic as the other person that did it. Like, that's where people, like, lack, you know, being detailed and spreading misinformation. Maybe true for you, for your body type, but what about the other 90%? You know what I'm saying? But, um, like, AKCB helped me find my way with that. And also helped me build my, my name, you know, uh, up even more than it is, um, by, you know, like giving free workouts, you know, uh, that's another thing that AKCB has allowed me to do with their IP, you know, like, um, like I've, my name, you know, is Juice, but I changed it to Juice Fit, you know, because like, like I said, AKCB has helped me, you know, like establish that title, that brand, you know, um, I, I would say that because I can keep going, I'm, I'm going to say that for that question. Oh, yeah, man. I was just hearing, like, different things, especially when you said, like, details that really caught me. 
just the terms, just because like I know I'm trying to slowly get back into the gym. I actually plan on going, you know, after this, uh, after this interview or whatever. But uh, I know for me, like I know when I got into fitness, obviously I was, you know, my brother, he's actually like a trainer as well. So like this has a background in it. So even with that, um, just a lot of different things that we try to do just as a tandem as far as me doing content for him. And, you know, it fell off like, you know, when the pandemic hit, we just kind of like, then never really started back up. But uh, one dude, influencer, uh, name is Chris Jones. I'm actually rocking some of his gear. Like, he one of the best influencers as far as my opinion, because one, he actually show you what he eating. And, like, then he show you, it's not like he's saying, and I'm, I get it, everybody has to make money, but it's just, he shows you, like, the details as far as how to prepare a meal, throw some extra rice in there if you want, like, you know, different categories, carbs, pro, like, whatever you want. Like, he kind of just more extra tips with it, or just mind control when you do the reps and stuff like that. So, I just like his channel because, like, I just learned, like, a lot. Of, and I learned, like, discipline. Now, obviously, I fell off, and I'm trying to get back to where I was. But, yeah. you know, just in general, just because even when I worked out, I expected to look a certain way. And, like, for my first, like, actual eating right, you know, gaining, and then I did my cut, I, I expected, like, dramatic results. But, like, for me to get to that, I might have to do two, three, four, five cuts before I really get, like, that but like nobody tells nobody that that's the real grind nobody nobody explains that to people and that's like i like that you alluded to like the details yeah and that's it's key bro because like like i said bro when, when an error works it's hard bro like even when you tell somebody to do their own research it's <laughs> it's hard <laughs> what am i on reading for <laughs> it's like Cool. I ain't trying to laugh with the man. I'm, I, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I, I get you, bro. You know, it's just like it just doesn't make sense. Like you, it's it's like Web three as well. You tell somebody, hey, research this, and it's like you realize this person's coming to you for help from scratch. It's not like if, when people come to you and tell you, like, uh, what type of here's here's a basic question: what type of protein should I take? And here's a, here's something that I always tell people. I'm like, bro, for you to figure out what type of protein you should take, you should try these things out, different proteins, and give yourself, see, and vis like actually pay attention to how your body responds to it, you know? I, I'm not going to sit here and be like, hey, bro, go try whey protein. Like, it might not work for you. I don't even drink whey protein. I drink isolate, you know? So there's different people who drink like different types of protein. There's people like they would take whey, it won't give them the same results they actually want to see in the gym. You know what I'm saying? It's like you give another person, you know, they might just go crap themselves every day instead of feeling like, you know, they're actually doing something and getting gains. Like the details really matter, especially in fitness and, you know, getting your life better, bro. Because it's, it's a lot, you know, but if you actually like look into it, it's more than just, you know, for fitness, it's more than just like you're eating healthy. It's for you getting better. So, ten years, twenty years from now, you know, you're not like, damn, I, I, I should have, I should have spent, I should have spent my years of like picking up a healthy habit of eating fruits or you know, eating healthy meals. I wouldn't have illnesses. I wouldn't have this problem. You know what I'm saying? Like, our bodies, bro, like go through a lot of stuff. It's yeah. up to us to help it while it's helping us. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's helping. Like, for example, I was telling people this. Your body's helping you breathe constantly. You know what I'm saying? Like, even if you sit here, you're, like, trying to hold your breath, your, your body's going to, you know, make you breathe. You know, that's just how it is. It's, it's an engine. And what do you do with car engines? You know what I'm saying? You got to fix them. They don't stay good forever. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. there's times break down here and there. You got to fix it. You know, you got to, you got to, you got to prevent it from breaking down even worse than it is you know like people just don't understand that they make it like a chore they make it like oh it's a waste of time it's not going to get me money it's not going to get me to my goal but it's like you know if you're you have diseases illnesses you know like your body your immune system become weak are you gonna are you gonna be that strong warrior to get to your goal you know what i'm saying like 
Are you gonna be having that like mental fortification to be strong and keep going? Yeah. You know, like help yourself, bro. I think I think for me it's like two things with the I know with the research part. Yeah, I know in Web three people just people be asking me, oh, how do you do that? How you gonna move on this project? Or I, I don't know. I just know I'm a I'm gonna look at it and I'm gonna keep my eye on it. But other than that, I, I don't know. I don't have all the data, and I think people just expect answers. I, I was like, that's why we all in the space shop figure it out. But then just on the second note, man, as far as like one thing I liked about working out is it gave me that discipline. Like one dude that I really like listening, watching his videos is uh, I know Brandon Carter. I love watching his videos because he's like, you a bitch, <laughs> and like, and, and like I like I like hearing that just because like I hear that I'm like, man, you're right, man. I'm I'm knock this joint out, and it just like I like those type of videos because it's just it keeps it real, and like I'm a very like do the shit and shut up type of guy, and like that's just how I get down personally, man. But um, yeah, yeah man, is it, you wanted to chime back with that? I want to see like uh, Keep <laughs> Keel. I watch him a lot, man. Brandon Carter. Uh, yeah. On videos, bro. There. I like him, and uh, I know a lot of people don't like him, but I like a little bit of uh, Andrew Tate. Only on the part. Oh man. You <laughs> have to. You know, mentally do and you know, like any other thing. Like I don't care about. It's just like there's a lot of things. Even from people who do bad shit, they're gonna hear the realest things come out of their mouths. Like it's facts. You know, and what Brandon Carter always like. I, I think because when a generation where people kind of are very sentimental, more sentimental, like more into their emotions. Like people would look at it like I I know some people that you know how you look at that video how we do that we're just like okay like you know that's just like an extra spark to that fire to make us like okay like, like I was being lazy and you get up stop being a bitch you know what I'm saying it's, and but people look at it like this person's called me a bitch my whole life like you know what I'm saying it's like this person's just tearing me <laughs> down like that's not what you know they're saying like they're saying that one they're saying it with passion. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're saying that, and like, even if they don't believe, like, they don't know you, I mean, they still believe in you. They're like, bro, stop being a bitch. And get up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, this, it's just hard talk. It's tough love. You know what I'm saying? And it's just, I think we live in a world where it's like, <laughs> people, why, are you, why are you talking to me like that? Like, why are you telling me like that? You know what I'm saying? It's like, bro, you, I'm not, and it's not just for men, it's for women too. You know, you shouldn't beat yourself to the ground, bro. Because, like, some of these guys, like, you know, that's literally trying to uplift you. That's their own way, bro, you know, of uplifting other people. And you got to look at it like that. You got to be like, man, this dude is just hype. He, he, he's passionate about this, bro. You know, maybe just because he uses the first word, you like, look, like, what if you were like, right, not being the lesser you. You would have been like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know? Stop being the person you was yesterday. You like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, but it's like people don't people don't want that, you know, that brick that's gonna hit them across the head and be like, okay, I'm, 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 I'm. that's that's exactly that's that brick that hits you across the head. It's like, all right, stop being a bitch. Like, he's not calling you a bitch. Like, you know what I'm saying? He's not yeah. calling you that. He's just telling you, bro. Like, don't be that lesser verse. You know what I'm saying? Like, be that better version. Be that one percent better every day. You know that. Like, I get motivated by hearing those those things, bro. Because I understand what he's saying. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's a and here's for everybody, bro. And one thing I can say, a lot of I know there's people in the whole world that go through shit. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, bro, if we really put our minds to it, you know what I'm saying? Like, and utilize the tools around us, bro, we can get better. You know what I'm saying? We can. It's, some things do take time. Sometimes we put ourselves in a deeper hole that, you know, that's going to make us take longer to see light. But, yo, got to do it, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure, man. Yeah, man. Definitely in terms, man, it's a, it's a lot that, like, comes with that, man. I did want to, like, uh, just get into, like, I know you in, like, Champions Court. Yeah, like, how have you been, like, incorporating your beasts 
just along with like in the other communities that you may be a part in, uh, how you've been incorporating your fitness along with just the communities. Yeah. Um, so far daily, I post, uh, I post my morning workouts. Um, like for example, on Sundays I would hit like chest and tricep. I post that and, um, I just started doing this, like tagging uh, the communities that I, that um, not that I only have the NFTs of, but their communities that I'm kind of doing fitness stuff, like they want me to post fitness stuff, and their discords, like that, I, I, I tag them and stuff like that. I don't need nothing from those people. It's just I love when people are like yo help me, dog, or you know what I mean, do, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm all for it, bro. You know, I'm I'm not here for people that's like, you know, they'll talk to you today and just tomorrow. Like, nah, I'm here for people who's like really trying to, you know, change their lives. I don't need no fucking money. I'm doing it all for free. You know, like for example, um, I've made the beast at fitness dot com website. Everything is free on there. The only thing that's not free is the water bottle for twenty five dollars. Um, that's just to pay our supplier. That's it. If we if we had a ton of them, we would get them out for free. You know what I'm saying? But um, we have workouts for women for free, workouts for men for free, workouts for beginners, uh, um, immediate um, and advanced people. Uh, we also have blogs on there about fitness. Uh, we also have blogs on there about nutrition. That's another thing. We uh, teach people what type of foods they need to eat. Also, I have a blog where we, uh, when we were talking about earlier with details where it shows you, you can you know, figure out what type of body type you are. And also... I have a list of like doctors you can go to, you know, from the states, from Canada, and also from uh, Aussie, Australia, um, where you can get your blood test done. Another reason why I say that's important: figure out what your blood type is. You know, if your blood AB, blood O, you know, whatever, whatever it is. You know, the reason why is because the food we put in our bodies, you know, that really indicates if it's healthy for us or not. I've met clients who can't eat eggs. Because you know, there's certain blood type, and I'm a dude like I can eat 12 eggs a day, and my client like, he eats one egg, and he's like, you know, fucking puke everywhere, you know, like, and that's totally okay. It's just you need to figure out what you need to figure out your body. You know, do the research on your body. Don't just like pay attention to stuff around you. You know, your, your body is key. Your key. You know what I mean? Um, also. What I have done is I post in discords also. Uh, my first thing is for people that don't go to the gym or anything like that, I post motivational quotes. I post uh, motivational affirmations as well, you know, just for people to get a little motivation or inspiration going throughout their day. They could just be waking up or just throughout the day or just about to go to sleep to see that. Um, I also try to push another thing, try to push a mental health and fitness channel um, in most of discords. Uh, also, the reason why I do that is because I'm also like, work, I work for a, a web team team. We're all, we're all professional mental health. Uh, they're, they're therapists. I'm just a social worker. But um, what we try to do is partner up with other projects to try to, you know, bring the beacon of mental health and you know, drop the stigma, try to help people who want to hear and listen. Um, we also focus on sobriety. Um, it's a, it's, it's a lot. And also most of those, uh, most of my team members on that team, it's called Help Mind, by the way. Most of that team is, uh, I would say, I think one dealt with like he's 10 years sober now. I'm trying to remember, there's a lot of us in there, man. But, uh, yeah, also we have we have uh, some nurses on there as well, and we don't really do much because we don't think X is a place to ever get help, you know, because it's, it's a social platform, you know, so it's just it's not professional. There's nothing there that's gonna help you with your mental health, like if you really really need help. So what we do is, you know, we have people come on our Discord. They want to talk one on one. Wherever they are, let's say you know uh, you're from the states and you need you know you need help. Um, we would connect with you for a couple of days, try to research other places, uh, doctors, uh, counselors, therapists, whatever you need help with. You know we try to help. Um, also, um, with the fitness side, I also 
post for people that do do fitness. I post a lot of like workouts for them. I have stable workouts. I also go in like certain discords. If I see like fitness channels, I'll, you know, um, sometimes they're not always active, which is okay, but I'll try to come in there and try to get it active again. You know, um, try to get people to, you know, keep that fire lit, you know, and also I have the nutritionist, um, the nutrition, the people that, you know, they just eat healthy and stuff like that. Even though they do like daily activities, they don't go to the gym like that, they do yoga, like those type of people. Um, I also release like nutritional stuff for them. I also release like wellness. Um, I started doing threads, I would say this entire month of September, like this month of September is when I started it. I've been putting out threads about uh, nutrition, different type of foods. Um, I recently put something about the benefits of eating seafood and stuff like that, how it has a lot of vitamins, minerals, you know. Um, um, and I also try to post those threads every day around like either 1 p.m. EST or 3 p.m. Um, yeah, I uh, also post threads about uh, for beginners and, and fitness. Um, I'm trying to help, trying to, you know, like the thing is, like I see a lot of, like people always look up, like what do I, what should I do as a beginner? You know, and I see people like go too crazy with workouts and they're just starting the gym. Um, even as a person that's like, you're already an expert in the gym and you took like time off, you know, don't, don't go head first. You know, that's not how you should go because if you go head first, two things, you know, you're going to burn yourself up, you're going to tire yourself up, and you're going to put yourself in a, in a loop where it's like, you don't see any gains, you know, and you're going to be sore and tired all the time. You don't want that. You know what I mean? So pace yourself. You know, if you like, if you don't, don't do no six, seven sets if that's you just coming back or anything. I know people who do that crazy, crazy stuff. You know, I do that because I've been working out for a while and I haven't took um, some time to, you know, I haven't, I haven't took longer than two days of rest day, you know, and that's why I'm, my body is adapted to that, you know, um, also, with the Beast Fitness team, the brand, um, we have me, LA's, we have Coach. Um, we all specialize in different things. Uh, LA's is our gym motivator, gym inspirator. Um, I am the guy that helps with nutrition and weightlifting. Uh, Coach works with strength and conditioning. And what we plan on doing is try to add people like ambassadors on our team so we can like tackle different sectors, you know, um, and also like we try to join other fitness groups. Like we see a lot of people that start to do uh, <laughs> fitness projects, try to help out, try to jump in there, and, you know, what can we do? Um, spaces wise we try we try to throw spaces in time yet but we have spaces where we do with riding with bears gym bears uh uh, uh youths um what else spaces we have done we plan on doing some spaces with dude lift like he's uh he's part of the the doodles he's a big gym guy um also like the that that's the key thing by the way uh, if you guys missed it earlier like trying to bring communities together in order to like, you know, light the fire in other communities and really coming together and try to like, uh, one thing I've seen so far, for example, I've had many people, um, we've onboarded on the fitness side, you know, and they've had friends that completely left Web3, didn't even, you know, want to be here anymore and stuff like that, you know, market, market crafts, all that stuff. Um, so I've, I've seen some people coming back you know, like slowly getting into, and, and into they, like they're coming back, they're in the beginning into fitness, and they're like, man, I'm slowly getting back into NFTs. And it's like you hear people is like, I think people, not just like we have NFTs, we should have other things. You know what I'm saying? Like, if we're in the Web3, we're on the, the whole blockchain space. Like, you have people, this is why I thought it was a good thing to bring this. Because you have people who's like, okay, into NFTs, the traders, developers, you know, artists, founders, all that, etc. And it's like, you know, some of those guys, like, they work full time. They, they don't do anything. Just go outside, go for a walk, 
for a bit, touch grass, that's it. It's like, dude, you get the gym, you can meal prep. You can, mm. like, another thing too, like, people, people, I always will choose YouTube over TikTok because YouTube teaches you so much, bro. It's like a fast library of you can type whatever the hell you want. <laughs> as long as it's factual, of course, and you can learn from it. TikTok is like, it's more like watered down, comical, whatever. I don't believe anything it fucking tells you. It's like facts. <laughs> that's just, that's my opinion. Hey, y'all yeah. cancel me later for that. I don't care. <laughs> yeah. It's just, it's just, man, uh, yeah, people don't utilize YouTube as it should because you can learn a lot of things from YouTube, bro. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, like, I would say, bro, that last thing, um, is we plan on, we haven't found a direct supplier yet, but we plan on working with merch, very, getting merch out very soon to some people. Um, we also uh, had competitions rolled out with AKCB. That's another thing that uh, um, I'm on. It's me, it's only two leaders right now for Champions Court. It's me and Brongus. Uh, Brongus is awesome time, I think. So he wakes up where I'm like about to go to sleep. <laughs> but uh, um, he's also like a fighter too. So uh, we've done a couple competitions. We've done push-up competitions. We've done squat competitions. Recently, we just did a plank competition. Um, I think a male got 15 minutes and uh, a female got uh, seven minutes, 7.30 minutes. Um, the two winners for male and female – if you're first, you get a beast. You get you get to um, get a beast from Raph. Um, I think everybody else remember runner ups. You get keys. You get a kid a kid called a key called Beast. Sorry, you get a key. Um, we plan on doing uh, another challenge. I can't say it yet. I'm not allowed to say it. Very soon, we're just they're just doing like challenges for every beast hood, and they're waiting to let that like kind of like pass by, and then we'll roll off new challenges um, and stuff like that. And I, I I also had fun bro. I uh, we we all of us some of us called out the founders, <laughs> found foot stops, we had found squats, we had found and beef with each other like LB. I was oh, like, yo, man. it was fun. Um, like these are the type of things that I, I love doing with people. You know what I'm saying? Like connecting like this. And I tell people you don't have to go to the gym for freaking three hours. I've I've done a lot of like bodybuilding and, and life and it's like bro I don't see even I myself have never sat there like when I was young yeah it was cool staying in the gym but I realized you didn't need to bro you didn't need to stay in the gym for like two two three hours unless you had a really specific goal and you just wanted to go hard you know what I'm saying but if you're somebody who's just simply like you're just trying to gain muscle have a good life just you know just live a casual fit life like yeah, you can just go to the gym for like 45 minutes to an hour. Like, I have workouts in my workouts. People are like, bro, that's a lot of fun. You can do a lot of sets. And I'm like, bro, you know how long this takes me to do? I'll be like 45 minutes, you mm. know, to, to an hour. No rush. Just, you know what I mean? But, uh, yeah, man, that's all I had to say for that. Oh, yeah, man. You said a lot for real, man. Yeah, you gave a yeah. lot of for the people that try to, because I know I was going to ask you a follow-up question in terms of, like, how does that relate to people in fitness? But like, yeah, you pretty much answered it. So, <laughs> yeah, um, in terms, man, I know just uh, a lot of things that you mentioned, just like, um, just in terms with just like mental health, man, that's like, you know, even for me, man, that's kind of like, you know, I'm not really over there and stuff like that. I guess just, especially, man, just, you know, the race and just being a male in America, it's like that could just be in itself. Like, nah, I ain't going over there. That's taboo. And then, too, man, like, you know, it is tough in the crypto space, but you see stories about people that just having health problems. And, like, I just feel like the stuff that we do is not normal. Like, it's, it's, it's not. It's not normal to be on Twitter spaces all damn day trying to speak, gave this far, whatever you trying to do and make connections, be in DMs. Oh, I like what you said. But, like, everybody do it. <laughs> like, but it's like it's not normal to do that like all the time, all day, every day. Coming in here like you like coming to your favorite spaces like you watch TV, 
and do that all day long. And then just not only that, it's not just community, but we put money on top of it. So you got something on the line. Some people putting up their rent and their house money and just all that stuff. So it's just kind of like tying that in. Like it's like, yes, fam. Yeah. I don't know what somebody to this day somebody got to tell me what like what makes a man or a woman to do that, bro. Like yeah. Fam, and there's nothing in this world that's gonna make me like if I have a crib because like. I think for some of us, a crib, a house was like the number one thing we all we always wanted growing up or at one point in our life. And it's like having that type of sanctuary and solitude, like we, we, like I would never give that up. You know what I'm saying? That's in a house. And like, I don't care, bro. If, if, if they're like, you get with this, you, get a, you become a multi-billionaire. Like, I don't know yeah. that. You know what I'm saying? And the market is very versatile, bro. It could go up today and go down tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, I just don't know what, I don't know why people do that, bro. I wouldn't do that, bro. Yeah. It, it's, it's just like, man, it's crazy. Just the more deeper I get into the space, I would say, fundamentally, it don't make sense to be so bullish on something and have such a strong conviction that is also the most riskiest asset at the same time. That does not make sense like fundamentally, but like as you get deeper into the space, your yeah. conviction grows or whatever. Because like my conviction is way stronger than it was when I first started. It's not even close. That's because I understand what the technology and the potential of what it can do. But yes. like I think that's just as you just like get deeper like in the space, man. But like even what you just going in and just far as breaking down, um just breaking down like in terms of like all the people like the, you're dedicated to health and nutrition and muscle uh the other guy i believe was coach like he's dedicated to you know Crazy. the con- conditioning yeah so just having all those people and then just having like a library and a series like what would you say to people that because i've talked to people that you know have fitness brands and like, would y'all ever do like, you know, I know you've kind of alluded to it a little bit, but just like onboarding people that do have a brand or, or want a voice in the fitness industry or just another way to generate revenue in their business, just onboarding different people that, you know, from web to do y'all have like a whole, like, I get fest, like mapping out how y'all want to kind of expand uh, what y'all doing. Yeah. Oh yeah, bro. Um, like. I've been trying to reach out to, like, right now I've been trying to reach out to fighters because uh, there, there's a lot of them in this space. There's, and they're, they're very, like, they're very active in this space as well. And I see, like, Web3 people kind of go for them too, so I kind of, like, fell back. Like, I want to go for somebody like me, you know, not everybody's kind of, like, on their ass about. It. Like, so I kind of, like, target NFL players, you know, the athletes. Um, to this football season right now, there's a lot of NFL, NFL players who like are into uh, like Odell Beckham, Aaron Donald, uh, what's his name, uh, Free Vernon Davis. Yeah, there's a bunch of people that's into NFTs, you know, in a and that's into sports. Period. And it's like I try to go for those people. Uh, Des Bryant, for example, he's got his own project. He's the only one person that I've talked to like. Everybody talks to Des, which I love, bro, because he's so active in the space. Like, he's real about Web3. And also, he's also, like, has his own little platform niche. It's like I have, like, my little fitness niche. He has, like, the sports niche. You know what I'm saying? So, and how he did it, like, he's brought Web3 he's brought Web three people into his fit, into, into the personal corner. You know, like, and it's pretty dope how he, how he did it. You know what I'm saying? So... And I wouldn't mind if we'd have, like, like for example, and I'll, I'm also trying to reach out to the bodybuilders, too, for uh, Beast X. You know, like, I I want to try to get one of these guys at Beast. Like, one of these, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. And, and, I don't, you know, whatever with it. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> but, but let's just say those guys will come through and they're just like, well, let's put together uh, bodybuilding.com and these ex fitness together. I would love to do that because not only the reason I would so love to do it is because it wouldn't make my getting connections for me much easier. 
and it would expand my reach. You know what I'm saying? Like, not only would I be able to onboard Web three people, you know, onto the fitness, but I would also Web three, uh, Web two, like more Web two people, Web two companies. You know, like once they see the partnerships between, like me, a uh, uh, beast fitness and bodybuilding.com, they're gonna be like, oh, this is this is nice, you know, because like one thing like you just said, the conviction, like. With fitness or whatever platform, anybody, not just us, Beast Fitness. I think if anybody actually does it and, you know, and actually stays with it and actually knows what they're doing, you know, like, I, I feel like you'll, you'll always thrive in this space. Because, like you said, a lot of things we're doing in this space, it's not healthy, you know. And slowly but surely, it's, people are kind of seeing that, you know. Like, I have people, like, I'll be honest with you. Like, I don't doubt people, but if there's there's people, you know, that tell you things and you're just like, you're just like, okay, like, I have to see it to believe it from you. Mm-hmm. And there's people, that, you know, they tell you things because you know, like, like, okay, yeah, yeah, you, you go to the gym every day. Like, you're all active, you're ready to be fast, but you know, like, you actually get up, you know, you, you do that responsibility, you know, and it's like, there's some people just kind of, you know, they, they don't give you the word that's making you like, okay, <laughs> I'll probably do you know what I'm saying? Or this girl will probably do it. Some people in this space, like, they're dead. Like, when I mean dead, like, you're not eating healthy. You're not sleeping. You're looking at a screen all day. Like, there's dudes with low-ass testosterone out here, you know? And you know what's crazy, bro? I got cute one time, and I was like, bro, that's, you're not understanding what I'm trying to tell you. I was like, because, like, I'm like, bro, there are, you sitting in front of a screen 24-7, just sitting there, you trying to like buy shit, like, bro, go outside, bro, go eat, go socialize. Mm-hmm. The more you do that, bro, like the more you just lose your morality, bro, you lose your humanity. Like you don't want, yeah, bro. You ask somebody at Web three how many books they read in a year. You know what I'm saying? They won't tell you chat GPT. You ask people like, yo, what what do you what if, what do you mean about this? What about what TikTok told me? It's just like, come on, bro. You can't waste your mind like that. You see yeah. what I'm saying? Like, I feel like people. I, I said this in the space the other day. Like, it's not just that people don't want to look up shit. It's it's two things. They don't know. They don't know what to look for, and they always if they if they go look for something, they go look for something in the wrong fucking place. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, bro. We're in 2023, motherfuckers telling you like, oh, I learned some mental health shit on TikTok. Like, sit with yourself and actually think about that. Like, really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. I think, I think just even just with the part, man. I I'm very like intentional by time because you know, you know, it's a grind. I got I got a lot of stuff going on. It's <laughs> like I do. Yeah, like people that's working, I believe they got a lot of stuff going on too. It's moving. And for me, well, I'm just, you know, in, in the space and stuff, like, I really try to, like, catch the intent or, like, just, like, what's the flow of the space? What's the vibe? Like, if I'm, like, and don't get me wrong, sometimes, like, I can have, I'm not all business type where I can't joke around or, you know, that type of thing if, if the conversation is good. But nine times out of ten, I'm looking to, like, be intentional, especially if I come up to speak and, like, you know, I just feel like I ain't gonna sit around wasting my time just arguing about stuff that ain't gonna like that's just not that's just not the way I get down. And like in terms and I know there's some people that they could build like a whole Twitter space and I've seen one person in there and the time I wake up the next morning there's seventy five people in there. So that works. But I'm just saying that's not what I excel at. So that's just what works for me personally, and like that's no side against nobody else. But me it's just like you know, a lot of different things. I'm just kind of like, yo, I want to like value the time that I put in here. I want it to be concentrated. So like, I'll start saying different things. I know you mentioned like somebody said something about what you said. Like I called out one project because I was just like, yo, I'm tired. Like I think they gave out like a roadmap or something, and then it just had like uh, um just a pictures and just no text, just pictures, all these random images, and they said, can you see the vision? And I commented back, I was like, honestly, no, I can't see the vision. I don't know what you're trying to tell me. What do you see? Just because, like, I don't got time for the bullshit or whatever. I'm just ready to, like, let's be real. I just feel like 
that's just like for me. But like I like I'm just saying that because I got you know scammed and took a bunch of L's because I didn't know how the space moved and you know all those different things stuff that goes on beyond. Like once you be in the space for a while, you kind of know and like understand that. But yeah, man, like I kind of agree, man. But like I say, like I don't nobody coming for me or nothing like that. That's just my experience of how I move. That's what works best for me. Somebody can have a completely different opinion than me and think totally different, and that's fine too. That's cool. Like that's what the space is. It's a bunch of people that had different opinions. We come together as a collective and try to excel and define what this you call Web three. That's another thing too, bro. Like uh, speaking of uh, piggyback on what I said about people being too sentimental. That's another thing. Uh, people get too offensive by other people's opinions. You know what I'm saying? Like. I'm, I used to be the person that used to care about someone's opinion. And when I overcame that, I, I was like, damn, bro, like, like why, sh why should I sit here and just, like, drain off my energy or feel some type of feeling because what you think about me? Like, people don't even know who you are. Like, they don't know your true potential to be that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's, it's like when I, I never seem to understand like the cancel culture, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I, I, I see a lot of people and it, it's kind of like, in a way, like it hurts me seeing people like, damn, bro, I don't want to get canceled. I don't want to say this. Like, bro, speak your peace, speak your spell. You know what I'm saying? It's like, same thing for the women, speak your spell. Like, I mean, I know people care about it, but who cares if you get canceled? You're speaking your peace. You know what I'm saying? Like, we live in a world, like, it's going to get way worse than this. Like, continue, we look at the color red and we say it's like, oh, it's it's blue. Oh, you're canceled. <laughs> you know? Like, you're canceled. It's like, it's going to be that easier. Like, I, I just feel like what's, what we see now, like, some of us look at stuff and we're just like, what has this world come to? You know what I'm saying? It's like, we're going to see more of that. And then we're not even at the stage where we're, we're used, to, we're, we're at the stage like, you know, we're used to, to death. We're used to horrible news. We're used to news that's like, oh shit, like that would, nothing stops the world anymore. You know, like it's sad to say like, you know, and prayers go out anybody that's ever been passed away. But it's like, if a rapper shows up on TV and everybody's just like, oh yeah, this is what's been happening now, norm, you know? And because of that, because of these things, you know, that's been going on, like school shootings, all that stuff. We get so used to new things. So it's like when new things come over, you know what I'm saying, or stuff like this happens, we get so desensitized to it. And I, I, I just think like like for example, cancel culture is kind of big in the fitness in this industry too. You know, like trends, like like I don't care what women wear at the gym. I, I don't give a hundred thousand Fs, bro. I didn't, I didn't come here to, oh, <laughs> oh, wow, women, oh, women. <laughs> see where I'm at. If I was slowly sitting here like, oh, my God, girls, like, she looks good, like, her body, oh, my God, like, I don't care about that. Oh, men, we're all going to be like, like, glance, admire, oh, what's up? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 lustfully just God and just. Or the same thing as women, whatever. But it's just like, bro, the cancel culture is, is, is such BS to me, bro, because it's like you guys cancel the man's opinion. That you got mad, you got so mad, you banded together. It was like, hey, he's got to go because what he said is just, it's like, bro, what about people that said way worse crap than him? Like, mm -hmm. like what about people that, that said completely opposite? What about those that, like, you don't see those that actually, <laughs> like, if I give an opinion about someone's cause, I'm going to get canceled. But if I'm sitting here like, oh, F that cause, like, that cause, nothing. They'll be there and argue with me. But they will not waste no energy on canceling me. But they will go back and forth with you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's so weird in this world, bro. It's like. It's like they need to let that go because there's no win-win when you just sit there and you cancel somebody. That's just that's just the grand mass of people not agreeing and can't sit there with a conversation 
You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, you're going to have people that has different opinions. Doesn't mean you can't breathe around them. Doesn't mean you can't be afraid with them. I have friends who, who think like, like the most absurd stuff about bodybuilding. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it's like, that's your opinion. I'm giving a shit. I still my homie. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's like saying, bro, I think a muscle car is way better than any car in the world. Is that true? Is that a fact? No. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But it's, it's just my opinion because I like muscle cars. And I'm, like you said, the conviction, like, I have a strong conviction muscle cars are better than any other car. You know what I'm saying? That's just example right there. Mm-hmm. It's just like, bro, you need to cancel that because I tell you this, that's why, that's one of the reasons why generation is getting worse. Kids are not learning, but they need to actually learn, even us teenagers, uh, to like young adults, to actually full adults. Like, that's why it's getting watered down because we're, we're accepting the cancer culture. You know, like some of us are just like, oh yeah, yeah, he got canceled because he said this. And it's like, yeah, he said the thing. You know what I mean? It's, yeah. It's like, I mean, people in Web3, you see, will throw the dirt at you because you said, this project's ugly. Is it ugly? No. It's just, you don't fuck with it. Yeah. You don't want it. But there's like 8 million people in this world. There's like millions of people who would probably buy that. It would be like, oh my God, it's so beautiful. You know what I mean? It's just, it's just so weird. It's like, you're going to cancel him because he, he didn't buy a project because he didn't like the art? Like, what? Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's... Oh, man. Yeah, it's it's crazy, man. I think like for me, like I'm not really a big argumentative person, but like I just argue through. I always got a saying, but I always say I let my ground be the rest of my reply, and like that's what I live by. I'm just like, all right, bro, we can sit up here and blow and blow hot air all day and waste breath. I'm like, yo, all right, how about this? How about you go do what you're saying, and I'm going to go do what I'm saying, and then we go compare our results. That way we can get, we can get the end result. If your way works, then we go with your way. Like, it's really that simple for me, and then I just move on. I just don't allow that. I don't allow that to simmer. Huh? It's still working together. Like, yeah. I was saying, like, well, how you saying it's good, bro? Because that's working together. Not a lot of people in Web3 can actually, like, like what you just said is is amazing, bro. Because it's what I I don't I see less and less of in Web three. Like I see people like like how I mean you understand like okay if I have this way of like building something to get results, you have a way of building. Something. You're like okay instead of being like my way is better, bro. What are you talking about? Like you're like let's work that. Let's you do your thing. I do mine. Let's see how it works. Nobody in Web three does that like that, bro. Like nobody's sitting here and, and actually be like, "Yo, let's." It's, it's like, no, bro. I've seen better results. I know it's better. No, bro. Like, no, nah, no. Nah, you gotta do this because what you're doing, I did it before. It's like, or it's like, bro. It's it's, it's wild, bro. It's, I'm yeah. telling you, bro. Like that. What you just said, I was like, bro. I, I want to see that more in Web three. The motherfuckers trying to chop each other's necks because yeah. like they think they have the better. The better route or the better road map. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's what I hope to see in the space too, man. I know we kind of just winded down, man. But uh, I'm gonna let you get the last word, man. And everything, but um, and also, man, just uh, just shout out where people could follow you and different things. I'll post your links in the description. But I just did want to ask, man, like in terms, like what can we expect from Juice Fit going forward? Just like plans, collaborations, guides, how tos, videos. Like, what can we look forward to in the future, man? Appreciate you having you out. I didn't tell Raz either, but I am gonna try and get an AKCB tattoo soon. Like, I don't even know where to put it. Like, I'll probably put <laughs> it like here, like around here. So uh, I don't know how to. It's gonna look. That's what you're gonna see for me, brand new tattoo wise. But uh, um. I'm working with Wildcats Alliance right now. They have a supplement brand. Um, they have multivitamins. Um, we're trying to see something right now to where we can, you know, try to get some supplements going as well for these fitness. That's why I didn't speak too much about it because I'm not a business person. I'm, I'm, I'm being real. Like I, I would never promise people like I'm giving you supplements. I'm giving you this. Like I'm not a business person. You know, if if I find somebody I can trust, it's hard for me to trust certain people. Like. If I find somebody I can trust, yeah, hell yeah. I'm 400% with it. But right now, I'm just trying to work on it. Let me see, you know, what we can get because I want to put out some protein, pre-workouts, creatine, 
you know, the basic supplements people kind of use and stuff like that. And I want to make sure, like, you know, it's good ingredients put in there and not just bullshit that's going to, you know, mess people up and stuff like that in the long run. Um, you're going to expect more workouts, more free workouts from uh, the website. Um, for those who don't know, when you click the workouts, you have to put your email. Don't put your address. I don't need all that. Um, you don't need to put your phone number. But because you, that email you need is where that download is going to go to. So don't put a fake email. Um, get it. Put your actual email or email you have access to download that uh, the PDF you get. Um, but yeah, also if anybody needs any help in nutrition, uh, yeah, me, my, my DMs are open, LA's, or anybody on the team, Beast Fitness, period. Uh, we try, we, we have jobs, you know, besides Web3 and stuff. Like sometimes we don't reply right away, but we will. We, sometimes we have like, you know, it'll be, it'll be a lazy round o'clock, me and right o'clock approach. Um, but you're going to be expecting more challenges. Um, we plan on doing some giveaways next month. It's going to be giveaways. Uh, the first giveaway is probably going to be we buy you the protein powder of your own choosing. Um, second giveaway, we're going to do this in like stages. The second giveaway will be um, we pay a month of a gym membership of your choosing. It doesn't matter if you already have it or if you uh, brand new gym, brand new gym doesn't matter. We'll pay all the freaking things. Um, uh, what else? I think the third one will be we buy you any type of accessory that you want, like belts, wrist wraps, um, gym bag. Um, that you, uh, two, two, not one, just two accessories that you want. <laughs> um. Expect me. I'm gonna call off some of these these FKCB founders so they can do workouts. Have y'all? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Just expect more threads. Um, I, you know, I'm never gonna stop posting to help uh, inspire other people. I also post videos of the workouts to show people how to do them. Um, correct form is key. You know, so uh, that you're going to be expecting more from me. Um, more stuff on nutrition, always. You know, whatever you see now, it's just going to be times 10. You know, um, because also space, just, that is what you should, that's brand new. Um, I'm trying to get a lot of people coming back from vacation and all that type of stuff. So um, we're going to have spaces every Fridays with rival bears. I know every Friday at 7 p.m., um, I'm going to try to organize that as much as I can to get at least three to four spaces with different people at different times. Um, I'm going to try to get those and see if, uh, you know, try to get people come in. We're going to have different uh, topics, nutrition, tr uh, the trends of today, you know, and the gym trends and fitness trends of today. Um, I have a lot of topics written down speaking about what's wrong with fitness influencers and social platforms. Um, we're going to talk about, you know, beginners, Begin, uh, beginners in advancing in the gym. Um, yeah, we're going to see a bunch of those. I'm still trying to come up with a new, like, I'm still posting a workout at Beats, but I'm going to try to come up with, like, uh, some new Blender edits or animation things where I can do the workouts and stuff. Um, but, uh, yeah, after that, man, you guys are going to be expecting just more motivation and inspiration from these fitness, man. You know, because it's it's just I I really love this, bro. Like this is where my passion is. Like I've been a personal trainer for eight years, bro, and I can tell you, my first two three years, I didn't know crap. I thought I was the best personal trainer. I thought I knew my stuff. I didn't. You know, until I met different people, until I connected with different people. You know, and you know, and then I became a nutritionist down the line. You know, and then doing pro bodybuilding, like all those things I've learned, you know, like in having different clients, I've learned what, you know, certain people need, you know, and all I want to do, like, and also what I've learned being out through my whole journey, there's a lot of people who know nothing about nutrition like that because they've been told by somebody, but I know somebody who's been working out 12 years doing a workout program. All three of them were with homeboys. He never ever made his own, and it's like, and it's like I put him on, I put him on a new workout regimen that fits him. Also, he eats, he eats way more healthier than he was now. Dude, the dude looks like he's ready to take stage, and I'm just like, bro, he doesn't, he's, he's, he's natural, natural dude. 
look like he's ready to take stage. And it's like, bro, it's like, and he's like, bro, I've been working out. He's been working out for over a decade, bro. And he's, he's like, bro, I didn't know these things. And these things, like, I have so much passion to help people through. Because if you don't know about nutrition, I don't mind taking my time to help you. Because that's somebody's life kind of in your hands. My clients, like all 21 of them, they're, that's their lives in my hands. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I think people don't, like the personal trainers out here don't really look at that. You know what I'm saying? Because like, I can give this, I can give this person something to eat and it just, it's sick. And it's like, I don't want to have that on my hands. So I want to make sure not only like they know their stuff, and they go to their friends and even though if their friends don't get it, come to me or any personal trainer, it doesn't matter. They're going to tell their friends, you want facts, you want stuff. Like, oh, this, this is real, this is fact, this is, this is science. Like, you know, right? This, this isn't no, oh, we just trying things out. This isn't, oh, uh, influencer said this and he said it worked for him. Now, this is actual real shit, you know? And I want to help people gain that knowledge, bro. Because there, there are people who have families out there. Also, I help people with meal, meal prepping. Uh, I, this is one thing I, my clients love I do with them. I go shopping with them. Like sometimes physically, sometimes like I'll be on the phone FaceTime with them and I help them pick out certain foods they can eat. Also, a big tip to everybody who's you know, meal prepping and all that type of stuff. You don't have to eat the same meal. If you're meal prepping for like eight to 12 weeks, you don't have to eat like freaking chicken breast or rice every damn day. <laughs> the whole, you can try it. You can try beef and pasta, chicken breast and spinach. You can try kale, pasta, and you can try um, a bit of mac and cheese on the side. Or you can try beef, yellow rice. It's just so much I, I can throw in there for you. You know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, man, it's just, it's a passion to me, though. Like, I can talk about this all day. And that's probably your thing, like, I will argue with somebody about. I, mean, I, I don't play about that, bro, because I, I, I see people get effed up because they didn't listen to the right person. I see people not advance in their in their lives because they didn't listen to the right person. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not saying I'm trying to be there to hold anybody's hand, but goddamn it, I'll give you everything you freaking need, you know, to, to be there on your journey, to elevate, you know what I mean? That's it. Yeah, man, for sure. Shoot, man, I definitely, man, I definitely could have said it better myself. As I said before, man, definitely let you have the last word. I'm going to go ahead and close this out. This is another episode of Beast TV. Uh, just make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and share the video. Just stay tuned. Catch the next one.